What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin and today I'm gonna to show you how to get good quality prints with TPU on your stock Ender 3 V2. Um, this will also apply to any other Bowden style setup printer for the most part. Um, I'm using the Ender 3 V2. Um, I said stock, but I have an upgraded extruder and an upgraded um, Bowden tube. They're not really necessary, but they definitely will help. Um, you'll hear a lot of people say you have to have a direct drive uh, extruder to do or to print TPU, that's not true. You just have to print a lot slower and mess your th with your retraction settings a little bit. Um, those are the main benefits of having direct drive is the retraction is better for TPU uh, because of the flimsier material and uh, also too because of the, the speed. It allows you to print faster. So you can definitely still do it on a Bowden tube style setup. I'll show you how I do it and uh, some of the prints that I've got done. Um, I'm gonna be talking about Sane Smart TPU too. There's lots of different types of TPU out there. They have a different uh, hardness rating. It's like a shore a shore hardness rating, I believe it's called. Um, some of them say they're the same. They're definitely not. Um, I, I haven't tested all of the TPU or all of the TPU materials out there, but I've tested probably five or six. Insane Smart is by far the best. Um, I print a lot of TPU because I fly FPV, and a lot of the people that fly FPV like to print their own parts. So that's that is the main reason I got into 3D printing as well too. So um, here is some of the TPU prints I'll be showing you. This is for an FR7 build that I'm just getting ready to finish. So you can see these are nice clean. Um, prints with very minimal print, uh, cleanup at all. These are some of the standoffs that come with it. Um, here's a GPS mount as well too. I'll show you some more uh, pictures of these. Um, but yeah, they're super clean. Um, again, this is only going to apply to Sane Smart, and you will also have to have uh, done your um, your E steps calibration, and you want to have your flow calibrated correctly. I have video guides for that as well on my channel. I'll leave them uh, in the description below. Uh, you can check that out, but we'll jump over to Kira now on the computer and I'll show you my settings and uh, show you what I got going on. All right, now that we're over at the computer with the uh, Kira open, we'll go ahead and make sure we have the proper printer profile selected. I'm using my Ender 3 V2. Make sure you have the right material selected. Um, I always use the generic PLA profile and then I just modify it to whatever uh, material I'm using. You're welcome to you know find the uh, TPU setup but I always leave it on generic PLA. Make sure you have the proper nozzle selected. Uh, I'm running a 0.4 nozzle. And then for your settings, if your settings don't look like this, if you're not uh, familiar with Cura, they might look like this. Uh, you click on custom right here, and that'll bring you up. All, it'll bring up all your settings here. And if you uh, see a specific setting that I have that you don't, uh, you can search for it in the search box right here, or you can click on these little gear icons, and it'll uh, bring up that uh, section, and it'll auto-populate if you put a check mark next to it. So um, any specific section you want to add something to, you can do it just like that. Um, for the most part, these settings are going to be very basic compared to a normal PLA uh, setting profile, except for the main things are going to be. Um, our speed, our retraction, and our flow rate for the most part. Um, yeah, you can, you're welcome to pause. I'm not going to go through all the settings. Um, we're running a basic layer height. You're welcome to pause it you know, and, and look and see if I have a different setting uh, for the most part. But layer height is uh, 0.2. Our wall thickness is 0.8. Our wall line count is 2. Um, again, these are very basic settings for the most part. You should have these if you're in on a standard profile for the most part. Um, nothing special here so far. Um, for the infill density, this is going to change depending on what you're printing. So something like the GoPro mount now that I showed you earlier, I would I printed that at 80% infill. Um, I believe this uh, GPS tail mount here, antenna mount, <coughs> excuse me, was printed at 30 or 45, somewhere in there. Um, for the infill pattern, I read online that Cubic is the best I, for TPU. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. Please let me know in the comments below if you know um, differently, but uh, I believe Cubic is the best for TPU. That's what I've always ran. Um, for our printing temperature, Sane Smart TPU prints really well at 210 for me. Uh, this could be different for you. I would uh, recommend printing a temperature tower with every material, every new material that you use and figuring out what uh, your printer likes best. But uh, for me, Sane Smart and quite a few others as well too, I've talked to some other people, they print Sane Smart at the same temperature. Um, 210 works great. Your build plate temperature, uh, I run this at 60, and then your my flow rate is at 120. This could uh, differ from you a little bit. You're gonna wanna make sure that your E-steps are calibrated correctly and your flow rate is calibrated correctly. So I have uh, video guides on how to do that. I'll link them in the video description. They don't take very long at all to do. You're gonna wanna make sure that your E-steps are calibrated correctly and then do your flow rate after that. Um, if you know your E-steps are calibrated correctly and your printer prints great already, you can try just cranking up your flow. Um, that should 
you know, that's very possible that, that that could give you a good quality print. Uh, the other main thing that we're going to see here that's going to be different is our speed. So you can see I'm printing extremely slow. Uh, print speed of 20, our wall speed's at 10, um, our initial layer uh, speed is at point, or 5. This is really slow. You might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of this. Um, I could maybe make these 25 and 15. Um, it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm not running a print farm. These are you know, personal use parts for me. So uh, I would rather get a higher quality print than, you know, have it done a half hour faster or whatever. Um, excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. For our retraction, uh, the distance is 5.5, I believe in, uh, excuse me, on a, a PLA profile, this is at 6.5. And then the speed is the same as, or is the same as it normally would be as a 25 on a default profile. So those are the main, excuse me about the, the hiccups. Um, those are the main differences is going to be your flow rate. Uh, TPU likes a higher flow rate. Your speed, you're going to print a lot slower on a Bowden setup. And your retraction, you're going to uh, lower the amount or the reduce the retraction distance. So on a standard uh, profile, you'd run it at, I believe 6.5 is what the normal default setup is. And then retraction speed is at 25. Um, the rest of the settings are, are pretty basic for the most part. Uh, yeah, those are the main ones I went over there. Um, and then if you're going to change settings, if you are trying to fine tune, so once you get close to a really good print that you're happy with, I recommend doing small prints like this that only take uh, 48 minutes and doing one change at a time. So don't change a multiple multiple different things and then you know slice something and print it because then you're not going to know what what it was that actually fixed your problem. You don't want to change three different things, like change your temperature, your retraction, and your speed, and then you get an awesome print, and you're like, oh, that was it, when really it was only your temperature or something like that. So change one thing at a time, print something small, check it out, go from there. All right, so that wraps up my settings for uh, printing with TPU. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, check out our Discord community as well, too. We have a bunch of extremely helpful people in there, some really cool dudes printing all kinds of cool stuff all the time, so definitely a good resource to check out. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them in the comments below. Also, too, if you have any video suggestions at all, um, I'm always looking for new ideas to uh, make videos about, so if there's something that you're interested in or need help with, let me know. Um, I'd love to do a video on it. A um, little bit of channel info update. Sorry, I haven't been posting very many videos as of recently. I've been super busy, but I should be back on a normal schedule trying to pump out at least one video a week uh, here pretty recently or going forward now. Also, too, we'll be doing a, a giveaway, too, for the two subs... 2,000 subscribers we just hit. I appreciate all the support from the community. You guys are freaking awesome. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the giveaway video. That should be the next video I do, um, doing a gift card for Amazon or something like that, whatever you guys want to do. Whoever the winner is, I'll uh, let, let them pick if they want some filament or a gift card or something. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Peace.